Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything. And everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Thursday morning. Hoping all is well with you out there. So today, we're going to be sharing with you a conversation that I had yesterday afternoon with Mohammed from Dubai. He's a Kratom user and reached out to share his experience. So we're really lucky that we were able to connect and have him on the show so a huge shout out and thanks to you, Mohammed. Hope you're doing well. And thanks so much for joining us for this show and for everyone else. Enjoy. All right, everybody, what's up? Welcome back. And we are sitting here today with a very special guest. We're here with Mohammed from Dubai and it's awesome to have you on. So thanks so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you very much, Janie. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's great to have you. And it, it'd be great to start off by just hearing, you know, a bit about yourself, where you come from, uh, and and sure. then how you first came across Kratom. What's your experience with it? Okay. All right. So my name is Mohammed. I live in Dubai. I'm uh, 40 years old. Um, I live in Dubai with my family. I'm married uh, two daughters. Um, so right now it's, it's, it's 9 p.m. here and uh, you know, it's a great time to be recording this, this, this podcast. I, I got into Kratom uh, last year, um, let's say towards the end of 2021. And it's, it's, a, it's a story, if you don't mind, I'll tell you the, the story in detail of how I discovered uh, yeah. Kratom. So um, I'm first of all I'm a person who um, has been diagnosed with uh, depression and anxiety, and you know I'm very open about it. I don't mind sharing this uh, type of information. Um, and I'm always looking for natural uh, remedies that you know help me help me feel better. And last year I came across. Uh, something called kava, and, and I, I think you're aware of kava as well. It's another, it's another plant. And um, so I ordered kava online using, um, I mean, to a company that is in the U.S. And I, and I got my kava order, and with the kava order was a free sample of kratom. Oh. Okay. That's how it. That's how it worked. And there, it was a. There, if I remember correctly, there were two, um, two capsules, and I had no idea what that was at it, at the time. I took them, and I remember just feeling great, and you know it sparked my curiosity um, about kratom. So uh, I thought, okay, this is cool. Let let me just order some off Amazon. And um, I looked on Amazon and, uh, you know, to my surprise at the time, all I found was, I mean, just books on Kratom, but no actual Kratom. So I was like, this is weird. What, what is going on here? Um, 
and I I remember that I started to look on Instagram for uh, pages about freedom and I couldn't find either. Hmm. So, you know, I, I became more curious. I wanted to know, like, what what is this plant? Why is it not so easy to find? And I started to do my research. Um, and then I figured out that, you know, it is uh, it's legal in, in, in some states in the U.S. and not legal in others. We don't have it in Dubai. So I needed to find a way to to get my hands on it. Um, I started to do my research until I found a supplier in, in the U.S. that seemed legit. Um, I, don't, I don't know. We, is it okay to mention the names of the supplier or you prefer not to? I, I don't care. This is whatever you want. Yeah, just hearing your experience. Okay. So it's it's a company called Cats Botanicals. Okay. Um, that, you know, it's a, it's a really good... I'm, I'm very happy with them so far. Um, and then I, when I made the order, I noticed that they don't deliver to Dubai. Now, luckily, there is a service called Shop and Ship. Uh, Shop and Ship is basically a service that allows me to create a U.S. address, and that U.S. address delivers whatever I want to Dubai. So I created that U.S. address. It's in New York, and I shipped my. Uh, I ordered my kratom to that address, and. You know, in a few days it was there, and then a week later, I got my first um, uh, first bag of, of Kratom. It was Green Valley, was the first one that I tried. So, you know, I got the bag, uh, Green Valley powder, and I read the dose. It said 2.4 grams per dose. And I thought, you know, they're probably just being extra cautious I'm sure 2.4 is not going to do anything to me so I doubled that and that was my first ever dose of Kratom so I took about 5 grams for my first ever dose and that hit me real hard I mean <laughs> it was <laughs> it was quite the experience for for you know uh, for someone doing it for the first time I mean sure. it felt great First of all, I, I, I felt great. Later, I read that some people feel nauseous or could, you know, possibly vomit or something it, it, with such a high dose. I didn't feel that. I was feeling amazing. But it did feel like it was a bit too much. Like, I wasn't very focused. I lost my focus for a bit. And I figured that, okay, this is great, but I should probably stick to the dose that, that's written on on the packet and that, that's how it started next day I, I, I did just two grams and I you know since that day till today uh, I never stopped it's been been a daily thing um, and now I have more of a routine so I know how much I should take um, with each dose when uh, I, I should take them I time them throughout the day um, I have a preference on when to take green, when to take white, um, depending on the situation. So, uh, I've just been a, a fan ever since. And I also discovered that nobody here in Dubai has even heard of it. I talked to some friends, um, and, and, and they are friends that are pretty open-minded, that have tried a lot of different stuff, and nobody has heard of Kratom. So I've already introduced a couple of friends um, to Kratom and, and, and they love it too. So that, that's that's my story in a, in a nutshell so far. That's great. Thank you. That that opens up a, a, a plethora of questions on my end. If you don't mind, I'm just going to jump in because that, that's such a cool sure. story. Um, first off, it's really neat. It sounds like you and I kind of have a similar starting dose or average dose that works you know best for us i think we're about in the same spot with that so that's cool um it, have you been sticking primarily with that green bali or have you found others that work better for you um my favorite is white bali um 
I, I, I always have a very pleasant experience every time uh, I take it. Um, and and white uh, Ming Da as well. The, these are my, my favorites. Um, now, there is a, um, a product called Super Green, but I'm sure it's just a mix of different green strains, but I don't remember at the moment what they are. But this is usually what I start my day with. So if, if you'd like, I can walk you through my, what a typical day for me looks like. Yeah, that'd be great. Is I, I like to have my first dose um, in, in, before my morning coffee. Um, you know, first thing in the morning, I have my first uh, green uh, dose, about like, one, one, 1. 1.5 grams. And then I have my coffee, then I'm ready to go to work. Um, I, I, I work as uh, an HR manager. So I, I, I have a corporate job uh, and it's quite stressful. I'm, I'm in the oil and gas um, industry. So it's, it's quite a you know, high pressure, uh, very high expectations all the time. So you know, I, I work a lot. Um, and, and, and this has definitely been helping me. So when I get to work, only a couple hours later, around 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., I take my second dose, and there is where I start to take white, um, usually white valley or white main duck. Um, and I, I also do intermittent fasting. So I... Um, Take, you know, try my best to get as many doses as I can before having lunch. And uh, I, I found that, at least for me, it's more effective when I have it before lunch. If I have it on, on, a, on um, a full stomach, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, it's not as effective on a, on a very full stomach. Okay, I don't know why, and I don't, I don't know if this is for everybody, but that's what happens to me. So then I, I, I space out the doses. So there's one at noon time, like 1 p.m. And then again at 4 p.m. when I get this afternoon dip at work, when you know when you start to feel a little bit tired, sure. I take and I start to mix um, green and white together. Um, there's there, there there is also a product that has red white and green um together i think they are all thai i think it's it's green thai white thai and red thai all blended in together it's also one of my, my favorites as well mm. and i find that this the work day goes by you know so smooth um typically things that used to stress me out at work don't stress me out so much anymore um, meetings, deadlines, conflicts, even at work. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm typically the type that doesn't like the conflict so much, but I found out on Kratom, it's not that I love conflict, but they just don't, <laughs> they, they, they don't bother me so much. You know, I just deal with it. And, you know, I can stay, stay cool and, you know, sort, sort things out. Um, I get home, um, you know, around 7 p.m. I have two daughters. One is one is uh, five years old, and one is uh, just one year old, one year old daughter. Mm. And uh, you know, they're both very energetic, and um, it requires a lot of energy from from my side to also, uh, you know, be with them and give them the attention that they need in the last hours of the day. And uh, Usually I'm very tired after work, so I take another dose once I get home, um, and then you know that, that that's about it. Then I'm good for the rest of the night. Um, I never had trouble sleeping. I'm always the type that sleeps very easily. So so red is not something that I um, experimented with uh, so much yet, uh, unless it's mixed with white and green hmm. so i think i just found my twin from another continent here because that there's like okay. several overlaps there 
with what I experience and seems like what you use it for. I love starting my days off with greens and I've only discovered that since doing this podcast and I've been trying different types of Kratom that I love starting the day off with green, transitioning to white, then maybe doing a mix in the afternoon. I have a one-year-old daughter that I need energy for when I get home from work and I've got a job where I'm doing meetings and deadlines and stuff. So lots of relating here. Um, for sure that's fascinating um do Um, you with every dose that you do throughout the day is it like do you keep it around like one and a half or two grams each time or does that vary uh it's usually the same it's usually one and a half to two grams um unless you know there's a particular day where i'm feeling just down for whatever reason or extra tired I, I can up the dose to two and a half, maybe three at, at most. And, um, you know, there are days when it's a weekend and I do admit that I like to do it recreationally as well. So if I'm going out with friends or there's a social gathering, uh, I just want to go out and, and feel good. Um, I, in the past, I used to drink. And I I don't have the, the need to drink anymore. I don't I don't feel the need to drink alcohol to have a great time because I just you know up my freedom dose before going out for a dinner party or, or, or gathering and um you know feels feels great. So th- those are the times where I take more freedom. Uh, Usually for you know either I'm extra stressed or I wanna have more fun because it's the weekend. Mm. And does it, when you take the Kratom um, any point during the day, let's just say for work, how long does it take for it to kick in for you? Sometimes it takes like one minute. It's, wow. it's amazing because I, I, you know, I usually read that for some people it takes, you know, 10 minutes, 15. Um, and it used to be like that in the beginning, but now... I, I really feel the effects start because I'm really sensitive about it and I, and I can detect it immediately when it starts to kick in. So sometimes in one minute, I can feel it start to come up and then just five minutes later, it's definitely there. Mm-hmm. Um, and and just it, it lasts for a good, you know, three hours, three, four hours. And then it starts to slowly, um, gradually um, go down, um, but not even, even even. But it stays, you know. Even even if I don't take another dose for like five six hours, I know there's a little bit of you know uh, of, of of the effect left from the last dose is still there. Mm. So it's been like that. Um, and, and another thing is, I I've read some stories about people waking up in the middle of the night like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. and feeling like they need to take freedom. That never happens to me. Never happened to me. Um, I, I can, you know, wake up in the middle of the night. I do. I, I don't crave freedom in the middle of the night. So um, I, I haven't reached that stage and I hope I hope I don't. Um, I, I don't want to feel like it's controlling me. I like to be the one in control of my dosage, not my spirit. Yeah, that's important for sure. I've never felt that myself either, but I have read that as as well. Um, do you? Let's see. I had a few other questions. So, when it comes to actually the legality, is kratom technically like allowed in in Dubai? Yeah, that's that's a good question, and I think it's legal because they don't know what it is. <laughs> so they, they just don't know what it is. Um, it, I, I I was worried that my, I would never get my order. And when it got through the mail, I was like, okay, wow. Um, I Googled it. You know, I Googled Kratom, legal, illegal, Dubai, whatever. And I found nothing. So I guess they, they, ne- they had never heard of it. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, I, I, I hope it stays that way. Because um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, and I, I haven't tried traveling with it yet because my my job just like yours also has some business trips around the region 
uh, which is the, the, the Middle East region where, where I'm located on this part of the world. And I already have it in mind that if I do need to travel, I'm going to take the pills, not the powder. Um, I, I think it just looks less suspicious. Maybe they, they, they'll see powder, they're going to want to ask me, you know, what, what what is this, what does it do? But if it's a pill, nobody nobody bothers asking where it goes. You know, I'll, I'll say it's a supplement. And, and, and it is kind of a supplement, you know, if you, if you, you know. I, I, I think some people consider it a supplement, but I'll just say that's what it is. And, you know, so I'm saving that for for the flying. I have my pills, but I never take pills unless I need to fly. Yeah, yeah, same here. So, so you, so it sounds like you go powder when you're when you're at home. Do you do tea, or how do you like taking it? Um, ninety percent of the time, I mix it with grapefruit juice. Okay. Um, I, I I like the combination. I've tried I've tried mixing it with 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 coffee with tea with lattes with you know with a bunch of stuff but grapefruit in terms of tastes um, grapefruit um, and sometimes orange juice but I, I don't like to have a lot of sugar um, in, 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 in my diet so I avoid a lot of sugar so grapefruit has less sugar I like to taste with grapefruit sometimes it's just water. Now I recently discovered the what do you call it the rinse, rinse and wash method oh, where you just yeah, toss uh, and wash. Yeah, toss and wash. Sorry, you just take the spoon. That is like pretty hardcore. <laughs> and um, I've I, I've done it, but it, it's not very enjoyable. Like I I don't like it. I don't I don't I don't like the you know the texture the feeling so. You know, I, I, I don't want to only enjoy the effects. I want to enjoy the, the taste as well. So, um, grapefruit works well. And surprisingly, something that worked, well, I was feeling experimental a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was last weekend, and I got some ice cream, oh. and some, van- some vanilla ice cream. Yes, I know there's sugar in ice cream, but, uh, I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I made... I made an exception there. You've got and to. And I right? mix it. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, <laughs> you, you gotta live. You gotta live. You got. You gotta enjoy life. So I, 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 I mixed. I mixed about um, two, two, two or three grams with a scoop of. I think it was just chocolate chip or vanilla ice cream, and it tasted great. Like it, it was. It, it tasted like a whole new flavor. And, um, you know, you eat ice cream and you get the kratom effects at the same time. So it's, it was, it, that was a really nice experience. And I was taking a walk outside as well. As you can see, I'm outside right now. Like the weather, it gets really hot here in Dubai. We're here in March and it's already, it feels like it's almost summer. Wow. So, yeah, a good time to be outside. Um, so, yeah, that's how, that's how I like to take it most of the time that's great yeah i think my favorite way of ever taking it in terms of food was like in a milkshake it's awesome you get the ice cream you get the kratom um, okay 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 so sounds good. it's yeah it, it sounds like so it's the legality is kind of blurry but they don't really know what it is so it's been shipped to you which means that they're obviously not you know actively going out of their way to get rid of it um yeah, so yeah. does that do you know any other people who use it at all personally no no not in not in not in dubai um i've introduced a couple of friends to it um and, and these are both friends that i you know that i trust and that i also know that they would love it and they they, they they like it a lot. Uh, of course, I also feel responsible when I introduce people to Kratom. So I, I always like to tell them, look, this feels amazing. It's got a lot of good things about it. But just be careful. Um, you know, do your research. Um, you, can, you can become dependent on it. If you start to take it every day and then one day you want to stop, don't just quit cold turkey. You know, learn from now. If you wanna, you wanna stop how to do it, you can. You know, there's a tapering method. 
So, you know, I, I make sure that I mention everything that I need to tell to say about it when I introduce uh, people to it. And, uh, you know, they, they, they've been happy. Um, it, it also um, improved our friendship. It's kind of like uh, another thing to bond over. And, you know, when you, when you do create them with, with a friend um, at the same time, and both of you are, are on the same uh, wavelength, you know, you, you're both in a good mood. You both, you know, connect better. And, you know, then you start to talk about different experiences. You want to recommend different uh, types and strains to each other. So now it's like, you know, my friend texted me yesterday. He's like, have you ever tried white elephant? And I'm like, no, ne never. He said, I, I, I gotta, I'm going to pass by you tomorrow. I'm going to give you some of my white elephant. <laughs> you know, you got to try it. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, you can have some of my, uh, you know, white minga or whatever that you haven't tried so you know it's a, it creates a, a whole new uh, bond and and i love that about it that's so cool yeah, yeah that's awesome yeah. um do you find you know so i know you said white bali works really well for you white mangda do you have it, like if you could choose one favorite do you do you have one favorite one the one favorite is the blends actually Okay. It, it's it's the blend yeah it's the blend that has the green white and red because you know no matter what time of the day it is no matter what i'm feeling um if i want to be in a good mood i can take it it's gonna work if i want to be motivated i'm gonna take it it's gonna work if i want to go to the gym i take it i know it's also gonna help me there so you know i, I love blends i i i you know, I, I go back and forth between uh, blends and just a pure strain. Sometimes I want to figure out what a, what a strain does on its own. So I take just that because I want to isolate you know, the effects, you know, in kind of a nerdy way. Uh, I'm sure you can relate. Trying to really know exactly what a specific strain does. And sometimes I just want to mix it up and and say, hey, let, let's see what this, you know, let's see what this does. And I, and I mix two or three together and I, you know, and, and just enjoy, enjoy the, the, the effect. This is actually what I just took right before the podcast. Um, yeah. That's why, that's why I'm very, I'm very talkative right now. I'm usually not very talkative. I'm uh, actually an introvert by nature. But it, you know, it, it, it helps helps uh, with my introversion. Helps me become more sociable. And um, my, my other friend noticed the same thing. It uh, helps with social anxiety, with being more out, outgoing. So it's just amazing that the number of the number of benefits you can get out of it. it, it it's really like a magical a magical plant. Kind of. That's how yeah. I feel about it. That's great. I'm so glad yeah. that it's working out so well for you. I mean, that's just like classic, great Kratom success story. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So how, what about you? How's, I mean, you already got your first dose today? Yeah. So I I started off today with, um, let's see, what did I, I started off today with white Thai and green mang da because I had a lot to do today. Usually I've, I've been trying to start with only greens recently, but today I started with the green mang da, white Thai blended together. Again, I was experimenting, just seeing what that's like because I've, um, I've staggered them before. The other day I did a staggered approach where I did green mang da, 45 minutes later I did white Thai and that worked out great. Um, and I've never like waited that amount of time between two dose, like the same, I consider that the same dose. Cause I wasn't like two doses for me split apart by like four hours or something. So but I've never staggered it by like 45 minutes and that worked out well. And today I, I, this was the first time though, where I literally blended them together and tried green mang down white tie. And it was a great combo and it worked for, for four or five hours. Um, and now it's like one o'clock. So it's been maybe like an hour since I wanted to do something else. I'll probably after this podcast take um, my favorite white indo, something like two and a half grams, and that will probably carry me through the rest of the day. 
That's my plan. I'm going to try white windows soon because you've inspired me to try white windows. <laughs> so that, that's like going to be... You know? It's not the most, most popular one, but for some reason it just works for me. It just does. Right, right. And what about potentiators? Um, do, you, do you have, do you take any type of potentiator? Do they work for you? Yeah, I, um, I've had mixed results with like citrus, with grapefruit juice and stuff like that. So I, I've never really done that consistently, but, um, uh, but I've done turmeric. Turmeric works really well for me. And I mean, like, if I take a teeny bit of turmeric beforehand um, or after, but I think before, it, it's like taking one and a half as much kratom as I actually took. I don't know. It's just amazing. And then um, I, sometimes I'll, uh, I, I looked it up one time and saw black pepper is another potentiator and cayenne pepper. So I've tried that before too. And it, I did notice a difference, but I think the thing that has made the most difference is turmeric for me. Me too. I can I can relate to that. It's mm. exactly the same for me. Turmeric has been the strongest potentiator in my case. Um, and I also do apple cider vinegar sometimes. Um, I don't mind the taste. Yeah. Have you heard of apple cider vinegar as a potentiator? Not as a potentiator. That's fascinating. I do love it in so many different things, but but yeah, I've never heard of it as a potentiator. It is. It is a potentiator, and I usually just, mm. just I just swallow a, a tablespoon immediately after the dough. Um, I love the taste; I don't mind it. And yeah, it's it's kind of like turmeric. It's uh, it's like taking one and a half times the, the dose. Wow! Yeah, you're giving me yep. some homework yep. here. I'm gonna have to try that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the other stuff didn't work for me. I mean, I, I saw a lot of others, like you said, black pepper, cayenne pepper. They, I, I didn't notice uh, a big difference there. But turmeric, apple cider vinegar, yes, yes, definitely. They definitely mm-hmm. work. Yeah, I'm going to have yeah, to try that. that. And then I don't know if you... um. You said you were listening to a lot of episodes before this. Um, what I don't know if you, if by season two at that point I had done anything on Blue Lotus yet, but that one, Blue Lotus, is the other thing that works really well for me in Kratom. Okay, okay. So this is also a you know a funny funny coincidence because I had tried Blue Lotus before Kratom, mm-hmm. but uh, not the tea. I had ordered just the blue lotus um the petals like the rose petals themselves and i boiled them in a tea and uh they were supposed to have a calming effect and and yes they i i did feel a little bit more mellow afterwards but i didn't know that that you could take them in in other forms and then i uh i think it was through your your podcast through one of the episodes this website called Mood and Mind was. Did I hear that from you? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I was on. I went to that site three days ago, and I made my my first order of. It's called one in fifty or one in a hundred. What what is it called? The the, the blue lotus. Oh yeah. The, one in one hundred or one in fifty. Fifty one. Yeah. What What does that mean exactly? I think it's like 50 to 1 extract, just literally meaning 50 parts blue lotus to one part, whatever they're making the extract out of. Ah, uh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. So that's that's what I ordered and um, can't wait to try it because I love blue lotus. I love how it smells as well. Um, I, 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 I saw some people smoke it on, on, on YouTube, but I haven't tried that. Um... But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it with Kratom as well. That's awesome. Yeah, I, you got to let me know how that goes. I'd love to hear from you about how that works for you. Because I, my favorite thing, like eh, favorite, there's so many favorites. But one of my top favorite things to do with Kratom, and always has been since uh, pretty much the beginning since I discovered it, was a green-white Thai blend mixed with 50 to 1 Blue Lotus Extract. It's like... I'm on cloud nine. That is my heavy. Wow. So I'm wow. fascinated to hear what you think about it. I will definitely email you 
immediately right after I fly it for sure. I mean, right after this podcast, I, I have you know we're in touch now. We have you know we have our email addresses. So yeah, whenever I just discover something new, whenever I you know have an insight or find find out something that works uh, or a new experience, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let you know right away. And um, you know, if anybody is also listening and is interested to to interact with me, ask me anything. I'm happy to you know share my my email address as well. If you want to know anything about my experience, anything about Dubai, about life here, whatever, whatever it is, you know, I'm I'm happy to to share this information with with your listeners as well. That's awesome. Well, if people reach out and they want to hear more from Muhammad, let me know and I will connect you with his email and uh, and you can ask him questions. So I think that's a natural transition out. And uh, Muhammad, thanks so much for, for joining us today. It's just been awesome. Thank you. It was awesome. This is my first podcast ever. Um, so I'm glad it was about freedom. And uh, it, it was a pleasure. It was nice to meet you in person. In virtual yeah. person, okay. virtual person, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And let's um, let's try and do it again sometime. So, uh, so that's sure. Mohammed sure. from Dubai, uh, and thanks so much. All right, take care. Have a nice day. Bye bye.